Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Metroid Prime Remastered. I uh, decided to make my way back over here because we're about to start a new journey. Just freeze that. Yes, we are heading into a brand new area today. And I would advise you to be prepared, because it's one hell of a doozy. Ah, okay. Okay. This place is Phazon Mines East. Well, this is the first time we'll actually enter Phazon Mines, so... This, I would say, is the last major area of the game, but that doesn't mean we're quite done with the game. It's just the hardest area to go through. Thankfully, we do have the gravity suit, so that means our uh, defenses are up. I believe the gravity suit gives you like 50% damage reduction. So, that would be great. And here, they introduce a brand new turret type. These are... these hurt. These are mega turrets. Reinforced with heavy shielding. So, I would advise to, like, kind of... Let's see. It takes a super missile to take them out. Let's see how many regular missiles. One, two, three... Okay, so you don't need to use a super missile probably will have to, um, probably will have to use a super missile in, like, harder difficulties. But, yeah. Um, over here is the save station. And you might as well take this, because we're about to go through a gauntlet. Said gauntlet is not going to have a save station available for a very long time. So, yeah, make sure you save here. Now, before we move on, there is a missile expansion that we can get here in the main quarry. So I would like to go get that. And as you could hear, that there, there are some space pirates around. Such as in there. Come on! There we go. Can, can easily use the ice beam and missile strat for these guys. Okay. I'm going to have to keep an eye out on the missile packs, because I don't know if I got the large missile pack scan yet. Uh, we need to... We need to move this crane so that it lines up with this thing. And we do it through here. A power conduit is nearby. Okay. So, I think this is the only one we need to... Yes, that's the only one we needed to power. Eh, 
then just scan this. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get this before we move on. Yeah, I jumped because you can't unmorph from here, so... I would guess right about now would be a good time to save. I'm not going to because I'm pretty confident that I'm going to go through this without dying. I hope I don't regret that. Hold on a second. Okay. So, in order to open this, we have a couple of things to scan here. Primary force field control and secondary. <laughs> All right, let's start. Ah. Since there's multiple turrets... Actually, wait a minute. Is there a thing? There is a thing you can scan. There we go. Now, this requires Bendesium. We do not have an item... We do not have an item that can uh, break Bendesium. So, okay, just be very wary of what happens. These are shadow pirates, we fought them before. They shouldn't be too bad. Wow, you're squirrely, mother... Very squirrely. Okay. Uh, we'll keep this in mind for later. We have to find a way to disable this force field here. We can't open that door anyway, so... Now, as you go up here, be very careful will come across new enemies. Hello, color-coded pirates. Uh, let's go ahead and scan him. Wave Trooper. Space pirate armed with wave beam technology. They decided to reverse engineer your beam technology, which means they are only susceptible to the to the uh, beam to the same beam color that they have. So wave troopers are purple. Use the wave beam on them. And I recommend doing just that, using ha half charged wave beam shots. That way it'll keep them uh, stunned for long enough so that they won't be able to attack you. And this is another Bendesium gate, so keep that in mind. Okay. There we go. Wave Beam is your friend here. There we go. I mean, missiles can also work well. Alright. 
Hello. Do as much as you can to prevent taking damage. At least too much damage. Because, as I said, you won't get a save station for a while. Okay. Elite Pirate Alpha. Reinforced with Bendesium, so we can break this. Keep that in mind for later. There is... Platform systems active, but there was another red scan. Which usually means, like, a uh, log. Pirate data. Initial Project Helix experiments with space pirate embryos were disastrous. The phazon infusion process degenerated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates lived to maturity. The few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. The research team Sclera made a recent breakthrough, in which parasite studies with a phazon strain codenamed Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we have successfully fused Vertigo phazon with space pirate DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached maturity successfully and are ready for field testing and training. Yeah, they're doing some horrible experiments with Phazon. Alright. There we go. And the other guy's over here. There we go. That's the way to take care of wave troopers. Okay, that's a regular missile. Can hear an item around here. Security alert all stations. Bioform Samus Aaron has made planetfall on Talon 4. The hunter is among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack Aaron on site. Terminal force is authorized. Report sightings of Aaron to security command at once. Okay. Let's just keep going upwards. You see that? There's a beam trooper up there, but he's yellow. Oop. Get that scan of you, power trooper. Armed with power beam technology. Since the power beam is pr fairly weak, I would advise using a super missile on them. Instant kill. So, wa wave troopers use half-charge wave beam shots. Power troopers use, um, super missile. Pulse beam. So... The uh, power-up is right here, and the wall we need to blow up is over here. So... Let's do this. To, ro to rotate it. And we just move this. A little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Is it aimed where it's supposed to be? Yes, it is. Okay. There we go. Now I can move forward. Uh, 
Okay, gotta be careful here. I mean, you could just drop down. But, you know, we're trying to... We're trying to prevent from losing too much health. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now that we took care of that, we have to climb this thing. And it's a little bit of a puzzle. As you can see with this... This, uh... Here. Yeah. You just look at the hologram and see where it where things are linking up. Um, this uh, bottom one only only rotates the bottom portion of this tower, so we'll go up here. And here's this other one. This one rotates the middle portion, I believe. All you have to do for this is to line up the middle portion to that red rail on the left. There we go. And that requires the bottom one to be rotated until it links up with that rail right there. And again, you can see it through the, uh, through the holograms. Okay. One more ought to do it. And there we go. Should be linked up. There we go. Pretty simple thing to solve. There you are. That's a wave trooper. There we go. Uh, that one's blocked off by Bendesium Rubble. So... Can't really do anything with that. We'll just continue on this way. This here's another. We can get rid of some of these with the wave beam. There we go. That makes that easy. Let's go down here. And that was level one of Phase on Mines. We still got a lot to go. Yeah, look where we are now. We're like right next to the impact crater. That's what the Phase on Mines are here for. Okay, I think I already scanned that before, so... Take any, uh... Aha. So here's some, like, environmental stuff here. Notice that there's, like, gas. You usually don't, uh, put fire near gas. So what happens if we blow this crate up? A space pirate was hiding in there, and also a missile expansion. So, that's kind of cool. 
kind of like kind of like visual cues that something might be there. I think it. I think it took down two space pirates. Okay, here we go. Well, here's our first elite pirate. Phase on enhanced space pirate, incredibly strong, armored, and well armed. They have an energy siphon system which absorbs beam weapon shots. But it does make them vulnerable to concussion based weapons. They also have a plasma artillery cannon. Extreme thermal signature due to lack of shielding. So you can you can track it with the thermal visor. Well, he can absorb super missiles. Okay. So you can destroy that thing so that he won't have uh, that ranged that ranged grenade. But it's probably better to just take him out. Because that took way too much punishment. When, like, a super missile or two would have taken him out. So, anyway, we've made our presence known. We have to be very careful here. But there's a ton of logs to get in this room, so be very vigilant. This first one has a uh, security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zebus. The alert concerns bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Subject is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a, pa a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on sight, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers Aaron to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. They do not like her. Investigations into a possible ingress point for the impact crater continue to meet with failure. The shield of strange energy that protects it is impermeable, and all attempts to tunnel past it have proven fruitless. Our continued futility in this matter is made all the more significant in light of the recent lifeform readings we've discovered emanating from deep within the crater. Analysis of the readings indicates that a massive creature is gestating there. Absorbing enormous amounts of Phazon from the Phazon core at the heart of the impact crater. This discovery makes accessing the crater doubly important. Not only will it open the door to the vast deposits of Phazon within, but it will lead us to the it will also lead us to this creature, whatever it may be. Um in the original game version of the game that I played, they had a lore that basically said they were able to get into the impact crater through digging. But uh, that kind of ignores the whole, like, ceiling aspect of the Chozo's cipher. So that's kind of a plot hole. And they, they, yeah, that's kind of a plot hole. And it was also, like, explaining the nature of the creature. But, yeah they decided to change it. Uh, this one. This one I like. 
Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aran's arsenal, based off of data acquired from her assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aran's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Well, looks like they already did. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious Morph Ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our Morph Ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on afterward. Yeah, I would hope they would move on from there. Ice Troopers now! All you have to do is hit them with charged ice beam shots to freeze them. And from there you can just damage them with, like, missiles and stuff. Now, they definitely buffed them in future versions of this game. In the original version of the game, they would just go down with one missile after you froze them. So, yeah, that made them that made the ice troopers far less of a threat than than they are now. Ah. Sorry, I still get a little bit confused with this version's controls. We're looking for any red logs. There aren't any up here. There are plenty up here, though. Alright. Let's get this one. Results are in from field studies on the bioform group Chozo, who we believe are extinct. Eh. Yeah. We thought they were extinct for a long time. We believe that Talon IV was once a stronghold in, the, in a great Chozo empire, brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all we need from this dead race, and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Wow. They do everything they can to make the space pirates hateable. Although we are still no closer to finding the artifacts of the Chozo, we have at least produced a viable hypothesis for their function. It appears that each of the artifacts corresponds to one of the statues on the temple platform, and that each one acts as a small key to a huge lock. Judging by the number of statues, we assume there must be twelve artifacts. Once we find the resting spots of all twelve, we can bring them here, unite them with their statues, and open the gate system at long last. Once we do, the impact crater, and whatever creature it shelters, will be ours for the taking. Force field offline. Okay. So that one's that one is one you needed to scan. We have come to another dead end. It is clear now that we will never discover the locations of the Chozo's artifacts until we can decipher the messages carved into the statues in this abominable temple. Our language databases are woefully inadequate, and our linguistic analysis analysts can come up with little more than vague theories. The best hypothesis that we can offer is that finding artifacts will require items spiritually linked to the Chozo civilization. However, without these items, we are lost, and Command grows more impatient by the day. Results must be produced soon. Yeah. O only a person who can use these Chozo items can get these artifacts, so, uh, tough luck, space pirates. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities at Chozo Ruins sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow, these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. 
We will make them pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. And, finally, analysis continues on these cursed ruins and the Chozo Temple that hovers near them. We are now completely certain that the containment field denying us access to the impact crater is linked to strange artifacts that belong in the temple, but we are no closer to finding them or deciphering the riddles that seem to cover every wall of this ruined place. Command grows increasingly anxious for a resolution to this matter, so we must redouble our efforts. X-ray squadrons will begin terrain sweeps within days. Until they begin, patrols are instructed to report any and all architectural anomalies to their commanders. Whew, that was a lot of reading. Actually, there were some crates here. Let's see if there's anything here. Mostly missiles. I do need them. I would like missiles even... I would like energy even more so. But I'll take it. Oop, come on. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, I would not bother being in here. So let's just move on. Um... Oh! Okay. Okay. You throw a lot of wave troopers at me, even though they're not very threatening. Um... There's a scan over here. I think it's this one? Yes, recon teams are searching for the Hunter's gunship. Science team believes it employs a sophisticated cloaking device beyond our capabilities. Aside from dumb luck, we may never discover its location. We must contain or eliminate Aaron. Failure to comply with command decree is not an option. So yeah, that's the explanation for why for why the space pirates can't seem to find Samus's ship, because it has cloaking tech. So that's kind of a neat kind of a neat little thing you can miss, because it's not even a logbook thing. Alright. Whoa! Did I get two and oh almost did. Now one more. There we go. I think that was it. Okay, before we head on... Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, one red scan here. Even, even more space pirate data. Elite pirate Upsilon's propensity for Phazon has enabled our research team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant Phazon diet has increased its mass exponentially, but it has retained all mental faculties and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incendiary launchers and the chameleon manta issued for cloaking purposes. Elite Pirate Up Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out Phazon deposits and coats itself in the substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. The subject, which we are codenaming Omega Pirate based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its potential overdependence on Phazon. That's uh, a little bit of a clue as to what we, we might be facing later on. But thankfully not during this uh, run through. Because we're almost done. You notice that there's a drone that is cloaked? Can't lock onto it. But, here's what I would do. Especially if you're running low on health at this point.
Wave Buster time. There we go. Easy fix. Now I have to get the item that's in there. And again, if you're low on health at this point, be very careful. Because it, this, uh, this maze can hurt you if you hit the walls. Uh, this, this electricity maze is actually randomly generated per playthrough. So that's actually kind of cool. Like, there's no, there's no way you can, like, memorize what's going on here. I mean, I'm sure if you, like, devoted enough time to memorizing every single possible permutation, could probably do it. Okay. Go here. And yeah, as you saw, when you, whenever you get to a pool of water, just use the bomb to splash water to splash water around and open up areas. So we go this way. Okay. Takes a little bit of maneuvering. But we've got it. That was a big explosion. Because power bombs! Finally got those things. While in morph bomb mode, press R to release a power bomb. Power bombs can destroy tougher materials than morph ball bombs, notably bendesium. So, now that we're here, there is, let me see here, here's some crates. These are power bomb am ammunition. Make sure to scan one. Resupplies power bomb with one round of ammo. So let's go through this door. I'm assuming this is the right one. Yes. Save station! Finally! And yeah, that is basically the big gauntlet, the big phase on mines gauntlet. It's not too bad if you can like avoid taking damage. But uh for first time players, it might pose a bit of a problem. So yeah, I think with that that will be the end of this part. Uh this has been Mr. Bacon Bits with Metroid Prime Remastered. Stay safe, happy and healthy. And I'll see you guys next time when we uh, grab some more items before returning back to Phase on Mines.